I want you to imagine, you know, that you take your kid with you to the shops. And your kid has nothing, yani. And he sees a lolly that he likes. So you buy this lolly for your child, and really the value of the lolly was insignificant to you anyway. But the joy and happiness, you know, when the kid got this. And then imagine you left the shop, and your son or your daughter has this lolly. And then you walk by, you know, you walk by a kid that's, let's say he's poor. And you could see the kid is looking at the lolly. That your son your, has. Yeah, in your son's hand. And he does, you know, he puts those puppy dog eyes on and does these ones to you, you know, and please. Now you as a father, how would you feel? So you now wanting to teach your son a lesson, you say to him, Dad, look, I tell you what, give him the lolly and I'll get you a new one. So your son who a few minutes ago didn't have the lolly and knows very well that you were the one that bought it for him. <laughs> looks at you and you're giving him your word. I'm telling you, Dad, I promise you, I'm going to replace the lolly for you. With another one. Give it to them. So I want you to imagine now, how would you feel as a father or as a mother? Your son or your daughter looks at the lolly, then looks at you, then looks at the lolly, then looks at the poor kid and says, you know what? Dad, I'm going to hang on to it, man. I'm going to keep it for myself. I'm going to keep this one. How would you feel? Really, you would get emotional. Dad, Baba, I'm telling you, give the lolly. I'll get you another <laughs> and I'll one. I'll get you another one. It's just, you know. And then you increase it for him. You tell him, Tab, how about you give the kid the lolly and I'll buy you a box of them. And he still insists on no. How would you feel? And of course, yani Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is above any example. Imagine how. How does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala feel when he's telling you to give? And I promise you that I will give it back. Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling you that this is not your money. Yani really, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whatever it is that we own, who gave it to us? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave it to us. And Allah is saying, give, and I promise you that I will return it. We look at our money. We look at the cause. We look at our money. And we say, no, I'm going to hold on to it. We all claim that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a razaq. And we claim that, yes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks the truth. But you find that there is shortcomings in our actions. So my brothers and sisters, give. Don't hold back. Give. And like how you as a father or a mother would never deprive your son or your daughter who gave the lolly, I'm sure you're going to buy them a box. And you'll probably buy a box for the kid too that was outside. Imagine what Allah will do for you when you give.